Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has started the main airframe fatigue test of the Tejas Mark 1 airframe at its ground test center of the Aircraft Research and Design Center. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has expressed satisfaction on timely commencement of the main airframe fatigue testing. As per military airworthiness requirements, the main airframe fatigue testing has to demonstrate capability of airframe to withstand four times the service life. The tests will be carried out on a Tejas Mark I airframe over a period of eight years, and will then qualify the Tejas airframe for full service life. In a very significant development, the RDO's Naval Materials Research Laboratory has initiated fabrication of full-scale air independence system, that will be used for integration on a submarine. The indigenous AIP system has already demonstrated its endurance for 14 days, and the DRDO chief had said recently, that the DRDO is developing a plug for the integration of the AIP system. The first Scorpion class submarine will be first retrofitted with the AIP system, during its first major overhaul in 2024. The RDO's Armament Research and Development Establishment has already developed an extended range anti submarine rocket with a maximum range of 8.5 km, and now the Armament Research and Development Establishment has started work with Larsen and Tubro to develop a Pinnacle multi barrel rocket launcher based extended range anti submarine rocket. LNT will soon start the integration of extended range anti submarine rocket on the new launch platform for which a pinnacle launcher will be customized. The Indian Navy is planning to drop its plan for the vertical launch system for its Project 75I submarine program, and the 6P75I submarines will now get the DRDO's upcoming 1,500 km range torpedo-launched cruise missile, that will have both anti-ship variant and land attack variant. The DRDO in association with the Indian Navy will use a Calvary class submarine for initial trials, and this torpedo launched cruise missile will be equipped on both P 75 and P 75I submarines. The six nuclear attack submarine program will get the hypersonic version of Brahmos 2K that is currently at the design stage, which will be adapted to be fired from its vertical launch system. Hindustan Aeronautics and Bharat Electronics Limited have signed a contract for the co-development and co-production of long-range dual-band infrared search and track system for Su-30 fighter jets under the Make-2 procedure. It features television day camera, infrared and laser sensors in a single window for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground target tracking and localization. It will enhance Indian Air Force's air superiority, and also has a good export potential. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh held talks with British Minister of Defence Procurement Jeremy Quinn, that focused on bilateral cooperation in areas such as aviation shipbuilding and other defence industrial programmes for both the countries. UK is creating an open general export licence for India, to reduce bureaucracy and fast-track delivery times for defence procurement. UK will help India in the co-development of military hardware including indigenous production of fighter jets. The RDO Chief Dr. Satish Reddy held a meeting with the Secretary of the Department of Defence of Australian Government Mr. Greg Moriarty, and they discussed the way forward for collaboration in advanced and emerging defence technologies. Recent geopolitical developments in the Indo-Pacific have given rise to a growing mutual realisation between India and Australia, that they must deepen defence cooperation and increase joint military exercises. Oh, my God.